This has been uh, raising for about half an hour, and we're going to add a teaspoon of olive oil to our baking sheet. Just spread it out. Okay. Now, take your dough, place it in the middle, and spread it out. That's perfect. Let's try and make it even. Now you're gonna take some fresh rosemary, finely chopped, and you're gonna sprinkle it over your bread. That's good. Now I also have some sun-dried tomatoes, finely diced. You could skip this step. Just gives it a nice color. This would be nice for Christmas. It's Christmassy colors. Okay. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of salt and uh, just sprinkle it. Not too much. That's good. Hey, your focaccia bread is looking perfect. Okay, we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, our bread is ready. Here's what the focaccia looks like. It smells delicious. And this is what I peeled. I peeled the eggplants. And then I bake them 15 minutes more. And all that, see that oil? It's not really good for you, like the orange oil. So don't put that in, just put in the flesh. Okay. Now, we're gonna transfer this. Let's use a plate. is looking done. Okay. I'm gonna need a couple more ingredients for the baba ganoush. You're gonna need the juice of about two lemons, or maybe one, depending on how you like it. A couple of cloves of garlic. I'm using three or four, that's fine. Some parsley, fresh parsley for the garnish and some cumin powder or fresh cumin if you could grind it. I have this grinder right here. And very important, you need tahini. It's a sesame paste. You could find it in Indian supermarkets, you could find it in Asian supermarkets. Get some tahini. And finally, you need olive oil. So, we're going to start this off by setting up our food processor. Okay. Now, first we're going to chop the garlic. And add some olive oil. Okay, now, this is good. Now transfer your eggplants. 
And be careful, they're very hot. See, this stuff, you just spill it out. You don't need that. Okay. Now we're going to salt it and pepper it. About, I don't know, two teaspoons of salt is good. You want it salty, but not too salty. And about a teaspoon of, I would say half a teaspoon of black pepper. You could I do this by eye. much. This much is good. Maybe even too much. So just don't put all of it. That's good. Okay. Now we're gonna grind this up. Plenty of tahini. Some people would put yogurt in this. I prefer to just put more tahini. And don't put mayo or anything weird like that. This is plenty. This will make it good. But sesame paste is really good for your health. So feel free to experiment with it. It's one of my favorite ingredients. Four tablespoons is good. This is looking good. You know, it smells like papa ganoush already. Okay, that's perfect. Now you just combine it. Always taste your food. Mm. That's really good. That's just right. Okay, this is done. I'm going to show you how to serve it. Get any serving dish. Okay. Here it is. And serve this. We're just going to grind some cumin. Not too much, just a little bit like that. I'm gonna sprinkle dash of parsley. Enjoy.